Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of my name. It's Mobby back with more Terraria. I guess you guys can call this Season 2. Anyway, the reason why we're playing this is because they just came out with a new update today. It's called uh, version 1.2.3 and the change log, if you have not seen it yet, very, very large. Oh my god, I have everything here written down. I um, There was like a, like, half of it was new additions and changes and the rest of it were bug fixes. Um, I cut out all the bug fixes. I have the change log here. I'm gonna be reading it while I'm playing so you guys, you know, know all the changes. And we're gonna take a little break from Starbound because that game is pretty much still in beta. It's just not complete yet. And there's literally no point making a new character quitting again, new character quitting again. So I think even though like, you know, they're hardly not doing any wipes anymore, I feel like I should just wait until it's a full experience. So Terraria is a full experience and it's a great game. I'm so glad they're still updating it. Let's get started. Now, I'm gonna create a new character. And when we're in the game, I'm gonna go ahead and read through all of the little change log things so you guys can see exactly what's up. My glasses off so I can see it because it's kind of far away. So let's go to make a new character. I'm very excited about this. Hopefully I can get some multiplayer going with um, some peoples. You guys will see. They decide to say yes. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and change. Um, I'm very surprised. I looked at like 25% of the change log. I didn't see the rest of it, but it looked pretty awesome. I'm gonna make like orangey hair like I usually do with my characters. Uh, I'm gonna make it look nice because I'm gonna be looking at it the whole time. For the most part. Oh god. Um, no? Eh. Yeah, that. That's good enough. Alright, and clothes don't matter. We're gonna be changing it anyway. So create one, put Mr. Mab. Boom. And we'll be, we will create um, a large world as well. So while it's, you know, generating. La Harge World. La Harge World. La Harge World. Oh my god. Okay. So, anyways, let's go ahead and go down the change log. Fireflies now spawn at night. I didn't even know there were fireflies. That must be a new addition. Um, you can now rename chests. That's really good. I remember making tons and tons of chests here. It was really hard to remember which ones which. And um, when you. It says when you cursor over the chest, it actually tells you the name now. So that's good. I think my cat just jumped in. You can probably see her in the background. Hey Gizmo, come here. Yeah, she's Gizmo. Hey, come here, come here, baby. Come here. No. What, you want to play with the Herbert? I don't know, can you guys see her? Hold on. Oh, you're good. All right. Um, you can now turn platforms into stairs by using the hammer. I I don't know that was there. Um, they added infinite wiring support across all maps. Wiring support? I have no clue what that is. Um, it says you can now play switches on levers and walls. Switches? I haven't even used switches before, this is crazy. Um, it says accessories now have an option to be visible on your player. <clears throat> accessories? You mean like the armlets and stuff? Like, like, that, that'd be really cool. Like, I don't remember ever, like, seeing it on you. Like a ring? A band? Perhaps it could, it could show on you now. That'd be awesome if it is. Um, you can now dye accessories on the player. That's cool. So, like, if, it's a, if you get a red band, maybe you can dye blue or something like that. Um, there are now vanity wings. I'm guessing, like, you know, wings, sure. Vanity, so it doesn't give you any stats or flying. Um, you can now dye them as well. Okay. You could, oh, it's really taking a long time to make a map, but that's cool. Um, that means there's lots of, you know, a lot of stuff to generate. Um, let's see. You can now change the color of the player's clothes at the dresser. Um, added the ability to mine multiple tiles without resetting the hit count on the previous tiles. You guys have played Terraria before, right? You guys ex know exactly what that means, right? My god, that's really good. Now, because you can mine multiple tiles, if you accidentally hit one that you didn't want to, like, will it, like, regenerate? I hope it regenerates over time. It doesn't give too much into that. Making cave walls. This is new. This is awesome. Is it done? Cave walls? No, there's more stuff. Okay. Um, cactus variations and biome specific stalactite variations. So, okay, there's gonna be a lot of more different stuff in the world. There are now critter sounds, like what, squirrels and bunnies can make sounds? What do bunnies sound like anyway? Do they just go like chirp 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 like a... Hold on, let me get my... Come here, come here. Come here, baby. Hold on. Come here, baby. Alright, La Harge World. Say something. Alright, I'm gonna create a character here. Um... They added upside down slopes. So I guess, you know, because they added slopes in the last one, I guess there's upside down ones now. Meow, 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 meow. 
Let's take off the map. I usually don't like the map. How do I get rid of it? Is it M or something? M? What the? Tab? Tab. Whoa. Alright. It's a little laggy. I wonder why. These trees are... These trees look different. Everything looks kind of different. Or is it just me? Look at that. They have a... It's like really, really yellow now. So we start off with um, two new... Um, I mean, not two new weapons, but... Uh, Two weapons with uh, some pretty awesome prefixes. Let's check out what they are in a second. Alright, how many press start? Is that escape? Yes, so we have, uh, okay, everything does freeze unless you're playing multiplayer. So, we have um, Force Will Copper, which is 15% knockback. And, um, 50% knockback. Okay, that's cool. Um, I guess we're gonna chop down some trees and stuff. And while I'm doing this, I'm gonna talk about what else we got going on. Whoa! Where am I? Um, they added Waterfall and Lava Sounds. Cool, cool. Um, they have a new armor set called Beetle Armor and Wings. It says it's craftable from Beetle Husk, which dropped from Golems. Golems? I there's Golems in this game? It's pretty awesome. Um, they have a new item called the Shroomite Digging Claw. I'm assuming it digs. What else we got? Gem Spark Blocks. Don't know what that is. They have a new mannequin, a female mannequin. They uh, dubbed it the Wool Mannequin. And they've added several, several new wallpapers to the painter, which I've never even used, but I mean, you know, awesome now. Um, you can now craft an animated steampunk tile set out of cogs. That sounds awesome. Huh. So the game has been, you know, the game came out a while ago, but my god, has it changed a lot. And wow, I really like it. Let's check out that new um, block system. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. It's it it what's it called it um stays on it. That's good. I've been playing too much um Starbound. I feel like breaking these to get the um the, the healing items. Um but yeah, we're just gonna keep uh chopping everything that we can, looking around, see what we got. Remember this is a large world, so we should get like a lot of stuff going on. And if we do find a bottom that we just need but we don't well we don't need but we want to explore but that we don't have on this particular world, we can always we can always make a new world and uh, make this my home world and you know keep going on this character. That's one I, one thing I really really like about this. And that's one reason why Starbound is really good, because you can actually keep a character in the same universe and not have to make a new world. But you know, this game does have its benefits over that and the other so on. But so far we're just gonna play Terraria until Starbound is done. Um, cause, oh my god, was that a new crater? Butterfly! Is, is that new? Doesn't matter. Die! <clears throat> oh, he healed. That's cool. Um, okay, chop down trees. What else do we have? Du -du -du -du. Oh, this is really awesome. Um, all the bosses have a chance to drop boss masks. Mask, 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 mask. Okay, messed that up. Uh, do, 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 do. There are new weapon racks that can be made at the sawmill. Uh, I don't know if that's for, maybe for aesthetic purposes. I'm not entirely certain. Um, yeah. uh, bug net sold by the merchant can be used to catch and release several critters. So, wow, we can actually catch butterfly sets that pop up. It says several critters. It's a bug net, so maybe it's just the smaller ones, like the fireflies and such. Get out of here. Get out of here. No one likes you, slime. I really like this game. Like, I don't know why I stopped. I stopped playing it because like um, Starbound was coming up, but I probably you know I got a little too excited about that. And you know this game is really good. A lot of people don't like it, but you know people who do play it enjoy it very much, like I do. Um, you can now place critters in cages. <gasps> why would I want to do that? Why not? Keep pets. Okay. Um, crimson seeds, whatever that can mean. Whoa, 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 this is crazy, okay. They added eight new crafting stations, eight! And it says there's over a hundred new furnitures. A hundred new furniture, guys! I'm gonna be playing this game forever, I'm gonna make everything. <laughs> um, copper plating, stone slabs, sandstone slabs, crafted at the heavy workbench. I'm gonna have a workbench. There's a venom snap, a uh, venom staff. I'm gonna go ahead and scroll the thing down. So let's see. You guys probably see this thing popping up. That's fine. Um, where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Okay. Okay. Twenty new friendly critters. There's a new um, NPC, the stylist NPC. It sells rare hair dye, new hairstyles, and changes your hair. So new hairstyles. 
hope that means like hairstyles that you can't get just by creating your character. That'd be really cool if you can. If it has like really really awesome um, custom ones. That'd be that, that no, like that's the only incentive I think going in. Otherwise, because you made your character how you want, because you can't do it. Oh, uh, now this is really really cool. I'm glad they added this. They added a traveling merchant. Now it says here uh, the requirements for him showing up is you have to have two NPCs already. I don't know if the um, I'm not sure if the crafting guide himself counts. But it says you need about two NPCs, then he shows up randomly. Um, yeah, definitely randomly. And it says here he can only he carries random items every single time that he pops up. And he can have a total of 30 well, um, he has 30 different types of items that he can sell to you. So that's really cool. Um, super mana potions, that's nice. And they got some slabs coming over here. And we are playing in wait. Did I pick medium core or regular core? Holy crap, I don't even know. And whatever, whatever. As long as we just don't die, we should be good, right? Ooh, let me kill these slimes, and we'll continue with the our talk. Our talk. Get a slime on here. We want to try, um, you know, equipping some of the uh, accessories and see if we can actually send our character. Look at that! I chopped the tree once and it died. I'm so glad it keeps your actual, um, you know, mining thing on. Whatever. Um, there's so much good stuff here. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. They updated graphics for some weapons and accessories. I'm pretty sure, um, well, uh, you know, if, if it's a really common item, I'll definitely know the difference. Oh, we found some, we found the, um, what is it called? Are we, uh, this is the, uh, the vial, the, uh, bad stuff. Let, okay, it's almost night, and, um, I'm not feeling too confident about this series, so let, let's quickly run across, uh, across it. Oh my god. Let's run across and see what's on the other side because I did run a little bit to the left and what I what I found was it was mostly water but I didn't you know actually look all the way over there so that's good um, I'm gonna have to get used to this game again um, oh my god oh 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 ha huh. oh god run mobs come on come on we got this <sighs> you were trained for this you were born for this oh crap mobby was cut down in the middle Okay, I guess we'll run to the left. Ah. Alright, where at? Where did I stop? Um, die buckets and dies are now stackable. Ores and mana potions have increased stack limits. Good. It's good. Um, they increased the tile limit to 65,536, whatever that can mean. I guess you can only have a certain number of tiles in the world. And they must have fixed it up. So remember, this game does not have swimming, so I'm gonna have I'm gonna literally have to make a little bridge here. Not like Starbound. I mean, I, it's a different game. I have to remember the differences. And it's almost night, but that's fine. I'm so sad. Why can't you swim, man? That's so whack. All right, let's get up here. Um, what else we got? There's so much to talk about. I'm, I'm very glad that I'm gonna make this first episode pretty long, so I can get the whole change log out of the way. And you guys can really see the difference. You can see there's tons of stuff already, and I uh, can't wait to uh, get into the you know the thick of things and start doing a lot of single player, beating all these new bosses. Cause they did like in the last um, patch, 1.2 patch, I didn't fully explore it. I you know I got to like episode 30 something, and I had to stop because Star Wars was coming out soon, and I really really wanted to play it. But now with this new patch, it has a totally incentivized me to come back to this game for a while anyway. I miss my mana manipulator, that's all I have to say. What's with the background? It changed. Am I near the vial or is it almost dark? I'm near the vial! <sighs> Am I just totally surrounded by this? Okay, we gotta walk past it now. Alright, let's just get past it. A little bit of snow. This is some snow. Snow vial! Okay, that's fine. I'll keep running to the left. If only I had my mana manipulator. No, 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 no. Guys, this is the game. This is the game right here. Ow, you pushed me! <sighs> this <laughs> this world sucks. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna quickly make a new world. Sorry, sorry. I really, really wanna spawn in a good place so I can, you know, start getting into the game really, really eased in. So we're gonna stop. And it does give me a really good. Ooh, what the hell? This is new. Yeah, this thing here. That's gonna be awesome. Anyway, it's save and exit. Hey, they have a they have an auto text pickup and all that stuff on. That's really cool. Anyways, we're gonna delete this world. Wait, we're not gonna delete the player. We're gonna keep the player, but delete the world. La hard world didn't really work out, so we're gonna make another la hard world. But we're spelling it differently. La harder. That's not how you spell large. La hard. 
worlds. The hard worlds. Alright, while well, that's making, um, it gives me a chance to work on this. They uh, replaced Tree 9's graphic, whatever Tree 9 is. I, I did say that some trees look different. Maybe that was Tree 9. I don't know. Saplings are now placeable on all grass types. Reduce the effect of campfire and lantern regeneration. Okay. I never actually had to use that, but that's cool. Ooh, ancient shadow armor drop rate was reduced slightly. Never even got those. Mana potions now put a debuff on a player when used. Lowering magic damage. To balance it out, I guess. Uh, spelunker potions no longer give off light, preventing ore from showing up. What? Hunger, um, hunter potions no longer give off light as well. Ugh. Slightly reduced the chance for rain. Good, it rained a lot. I remember it did rain a lot. Pyramids are slightly more common. Water leaf now only bloom in the rain. Life crystals no longer spawn in the dungeon. Drastically increased the drop rate of key molds, whatever that is. Ice golems now drop a frozen core that is used with hallowed bars to drop frost armor. Frost armor, hmm. The pickaxe and drax, which is a, I don't know, I have no idea what a drax is, I was going to explain it, but I totally forgot what it was. They now both require one soul from each mech boss to craft. What is that? I don't even know what they're talking about here. I'm going to scroll down a little bit more, there's a lot left. There's a lot left, my god. Um, Plantera bulbs don't spawn until all three mech bosses are defeated. What are these mech bosses? Like, are they in this, like... I... Oh my god. Um, you cannot summon the golem until after Plantera has been defeated. Mech bosses and golem have been buffed and lizard boss rooms are bigger. Wasp gun damage increased by three. Golden shower. And Mushroom Spear nerfed. Oh my god. Poison Staff and Frost Staff do less damage now. Crystal Leaf does a bit more damage and shoots faster. The Terror Blade, True Excalibur, and True Knight's Edge have been increased in damage. Oh, that was a lot of stuff to talk about. Slightly buffed Shotgun, Marrow, Ice Bow, and damage from Repeaters. So, so far it looks like they're actually trying to make melee combat a lot more viable. Because, yeah, after you get magic, it does seem a little OP, so... Okay, so you guys can see I have, you know, kept, the, uh, kept all the stuff on my character, so that's good. And I'll to keep going. Dun, 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 dun. Excuse me. Later, crafting dad. You can stay there while I chop down all this stuff. Um, Rainbow Gun does more damage, and it's Rainbow now in the last 10 seconds. It's a Rainbow Gun game. Who knew? Well, I did find a unicorn, um, Vanity Island, if you guys remember that. Um, buff unholy arrows use speed. <gasps> um, lower damage from clarified bullets. Scourge of the Corruptor does slightly more damage. Scourge of the Corruptor. What is the scourge? You mean like like everything in the corrupt? Cause I I got hit twenty if I if I like recalled correctly and in, in the last world I just made it hit twenty. Um, the auto hammer can only be bought after killing Plantera. Who is Plantera? Who are the mech bosses? I am in for a very, very rough and tough and fun journey, I assume. Hopefully you guys will join me on this. Uh, there's, there's still a lot more to talk about, by the way. Oh my god. Okay. Da -da -da -da. Souls and gun gear now sell for less. Gun gear, I think that's time for a spear. Chlorophyte is slightly more rare and glows slower. New hard mode ores are rare, and their tools and armor are slightly less harder to find. Hard mode. Oh, uh, hard mode is after you kill like uh, one of the main bosses. I forgot. I was like, I didn't, I didn't make a character in hard mode, but yeah, it's after you uh, beat a certain boss. The rod of discord now takes one sixth of your life rather than one fifth. Palladium axe. Oh my God. Uh, palladium axe can no longer. What is this? What am I digging up? Iron, yes! Iron on the surface, I love it. Uh, meteor heads no longer drop loot in hard mode. Increase lost girl spawn chance. Corruption, crimson, and hollow grass wall spreads further. That's not good. That is not good. Um, frost burn debuff now uh, does more damage over time. It's really hard to dig and do this at the same time. Good thing I have that new mining. Uh, we have that new mining thing. You know, that's good. They added a Spectre Mask and Spectre Damage Bonus Set. It has lots of new stuff. Nerfed Spectre Healing Helmet. Okay. 
Um, Spectre Healing Armor now uses more mana instead of decreasing mana usage. Um, Retinezer shoots, blah blah blah, a little slower. The North Pole now does a lot less damage and has a cap on its projectiles. There's a North Pole weapon, I'm gonna scroll this down a little more, there's a lot. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Lesser mana potions are no longer craft craftable, so you can't craft the, lo the mana potions anymore, the lesser ones anyway. It can only be it can only be sold by the merchant. Tim, oh, Tim is not more is now more common. I don't know if this is a typo. Either Tim is an NPC or they replace the M with an N. So Tim or Tim is more and more common. Whatever you guys want. They increase the B gun damage by one. One, huh? That sounds like a lot. Nature's gift is slightly more common. I don't know what nature's gift is. They increase the mana usage of gem staves, gem staves, and lower the damage of the high tier gem staves. Yeah, um, I made one last. In the last freaking season, and they are a little OP. Pretty easy to make too, but yeah, a little OP, I guess. Um, so I'm glad they did that. Let's see. Um, there goes a slime coming up. My uh, my six. Uh, lowered value of magic dammer and magic dagger and V gun. Destroyer now drops loot on the closest segment to the player destroyer i forgot what the destroyer is i, I think it's the eat of the world no eat of the world's eat of the world there's the story of the worlds yeah something like that I'm gonna kill these guys and get the gels gels are really nice I'm getting lots of uh lots of this thing too um improve dryad's world status dialogue so when you talk to the dryad i guess you have different variations of the world like oh you, you know this is this is like there's 50 percent corruption Etc. I guess they fixed it. I mean, they fixed it. They made it better. Hold on. This freaking slime's coming up my sides. I really gotta get him. Uh, hey. Hey, come here. Come here. I'm gonna chop you. I'm gonna chop you. Chop, chop. This starting weapon sucks, but it's better than nothing. Alright. Golem and Plantera now drop money. 15 gold each. I still don't know who these bosses are. I, if, I'm, if they're not new, I'm pretty much out of the loop. I'm sorry about that. <clears throat> Many optimizations added to speed up overall performance in game. That's good for like people with like really really bad computers. At least they can play it now. And this game is on. Um, I think it's it's, it's on the consoles. I, I think it's on. I know for sure it's on the you know PS PS network. I just don't know if it's on the Xbox One. I think it is. I really don't know. But anyway, I really I honestly don't remember if they are still updating that version. I am sorry if you guys play on there and they don't, but. You know, that's the, that's the benefits of, you know, PC indie gaming stuff. I don't even know if you guys can call these people indie games anymore. Maybe, because this game is pretty good. And it's pretty popular. It's been out for a while. So I'm glad the company has gotten a lot of um, good stuff. And uh, moved on to make Starbound, which is great. Um, I wonder how many people from Starbound are actually, you know, still working on this. Or are they actually just, you know, switching off? Or maybe they just had some ideas... Um, in their spare time, they're like, we should add this to Terraria, you know, because the game's been out for a long time, and they could have just left the game as it is, but I am very, very grateful that they're still caring about this game, you know, it's like the first baby, I guess, and they're still working on it, so good, thank you guys, I know they're never going to see this, but I appreciate everything they do, uh, making this game have a very, very long longevity, well, there's still a little bit more on the, um, on the change log, but I'm, I'm like, I'm still trying to get all these slimes away so I can talk about it. Um, okay, bug fixes, blah, blah, blah. Um, Pumpkin Moon and Frost Moon can now be started <clears throat> using a snowman pet? Snowman pet. Whoa. The game will now verify if there is a lizard altar at the end of a world gen. End of a world... End of a world gen? The game will now verify. I, I don't know if... Wait, is this supposed to tell me at the beginning when I make it? I don't know. I don't really... I don't even know what a lizard... Um, Alter is. It's not even spelled like regular lizard. After the Z, there's an H. Lizard, I guess. Okay. We are good. We are good. That is most of the change log. There is about double that left that I haven't said, but it's mostly bug fixes, which it's gonna be good because uh, they fix. I, I, I scanned over it. There's a lot of bug fixes that have to do with like exploits, such as duping and other stuff. They fixed it. Um, good thing I haven't figured out any of those. It would have really ruined the game for me. So, that is it. Let's go exploring for about six more minutes, then we'll end the first episode here. We're making this one twice as long as I usually would for a regular episode because I am just giving this a special treatment. So, this is the first episode of Season 2. Hopefully there will be more, I don't know. But Season 2 of Terraria. Um, we left off 
you know, we learned a lot about the game. Um, and all the new stuff that they added. And we're just gonna go exploring now. We should start with, like, maybe a house. Let's see what's going on here. Let's look around for a sec. Um, let's see how much items I actually picked up. We have picked up, wow, mushrooms, some shurikens, some torches. Torches are nice. I will put the torches on number four. The shurikens I'll put on number nine. And I have a split this potion. I'll use that right now. I actually think I have to actually... Did I use it? Oh, I dropped it. Yeah, you have to put it on... I, I believe it has to be on your inventory. Your uh, your hotkey to use it. No? Yeah, it has to be in your hotkey. That kind of sucks. But that's fine. Otherwise, you'd be able to... It'd be like an RPG. You can just click from there. So, let's put this potion. I'm gonna activate it. Move a little faster. Oh, wow. I'm moving a lot faster. It's 25% faster, but it actually looks pretty good. Oh, no. It can't swim. That's right. But we do have higher jumps in this. So that's good. Um, almost night, but we have about 760 pieces of wood. Let's go ahead and keep running around until we find a really, really nice place. Duck! 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 Goose! Oh, he ran away. I would love to catch one. There's something glowing over there. What is this? Oh, it's just a background wall. So yeah, let's go. And, um... I usually like to terraform a place before I live there, and I know no, some of you guys are like, that's hella boring, don't do that. So, yeah, I'm just gonna find a place that actually looks good, and, but you know, that needs just basic terraforming, like just make it a flat, not like doing everything else around it, but I'm pretty much just gonna live in that place, and we'll get started doing all this cool stuff. Um, let's see. This place looks kinda good. Kinda good. <gasps> there is a chest over here. First chest of the game. Let's see how it plays, yeah? It's actually night time, so we should probably spend the night here too. Okay, so we're gonna spend the night here and we'll figure out what's going on. So we're gonna clear all this out. Well, okay, let's see what's in here and then we'll go search the chests. So, oh my god. Alright, we got the menacing climbing laws equipable. Allows the ability to slide down walls. If you combine them with shoe spikes, you can actually stick on the wall. So, this is a good one. We'll go ahead and equip it. Yep, there you go. Check that out. The accessories are now on your character. I don't know if you guys can see it's really tiny. Look at that. He's actually like holding up like Wolverine. Like, yeah, or like, like, he looks like Knuckles, basically. If Knuckles had black hands. That's really awesome. Accessories can turn on or off by pressing this, I guess. What's this? There's like three sets of, um... Let's see. Huh. Oh my god. I didn't see that on the right. Okay, there's one for equipping, one for social. So yeah, put it here. Or you can put it for the die, which is awesome. So if you put it over here on the social, I assume you don't get the, uh, yeah, you don't get the slide ability, but it still looks cool. I'll uh, put it on the quip, so we get the slide ability. Really awesome. Really awesome, by the way. They have really outdone themselves again with the patches, so, yeah, I love it. Um, should we keep moving, or, mm, okay, here's what we do. We'll wait till night time, um, when everything's super dangerous, we'll run back to this cave, and we'll dig down for a while until morning. And then as soon as it hits morning, we'll run back to the left. And we'll search for that perfect place to put a house down. <sighs> this game's great. We're back, Terraria. We're back. We are back in action. Uh, why am I trying to put a torch down? Why am I trying to put a torch down? I, I usually put, like, when I play Minecraft, I put one for sword, two for, sh uh, two for shovel, three for pickaxe, and four for regular axe. So I pressed four to axe, but apparently four is my torch, so... <laughs> come on, come on, come on. You bastard. Come on, I'll punch you. I don't think they have any like punching um actual weapons up. Ah, three okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna move this. Three should be my freaking pickaxe, that's what it usually is. Actually, no, I'm gonna put four yeah yeah, that's how it should be. Four for that. You know actually I don't need torch. I remember now, I remember the actual Hotkey for Terraria. You gotta hold shift and then um, if, you, if you're not, if you don't have your cursor over an actual, um, you know, block or tile, uh, you know, the um, thing will pop up. Is there anything more down here? Let's look. Let's see. No, it's just one more little thing here. Alright, that's cool. That's good. That's good. Let's break this. Copper coin, silver coin, whatever. Okay, let's break a little way over here. Is that a little slime? Up, little slime, you dead little slime. All right, guys, I guess I'm really gonna have to end it, but wow, huge change log patch. Hopefully, you guys listen. If <laughs> you even didn't, that's okay. But yes, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, it helps so much. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I upload a lot of daily videos, lots of tutorial. 
Lots of Terraria coming on the way. And please let me know, are you guys excited for this series or would you rather see something like Starbound? But like I said before, Starbound is still in the early stages. I just don't feel like it's ready to fully play yet for a long time. So also remember, submit your fan art today. I will be featuring it in a future video. Lots of stuff going on here. Hopefully um, you guys, because this game has been out for a long time, it's cool if you guys you know, give me a very, very obvious tips and help me out with the game. But yes. This is going to be our little series, so thanks so much for being here, and I will see you guys next time.